Good morning, everybody. It is 6.20 in the morning and I am the only one up. So we are in Philadelphia right now. We decided to do a little weekend getaway. And every time we plan getaways, I always go back and forth. I say, should we go to a city? Should we go to the mountains? City, mountains. City, mountains. City, mountains. Well, this week, city one. Philadelphia is within driving distance from our house, so it's not terrible and we've never seen it before there's lots of history here so we decided to just take a little family trip this is going to always be a special place in my heart because a this is our last trip together as a family before casey leaves for deployment another reason why philadelphia has been such a special thing is because about a i'd say a week and a half ago i started really getting serious about potty training we wanted to get this done before Casey had to leave and I was doing it by myself. And so we just buckled down and I really seriously thought that he wasn't ready, but I figured, you know what, try to encourage him and just give him more opportunities because I'll never know unless I actually put him on the potty and he tries. And it was really rough at first. There were some moments where I thought we were gonna have to give up, but oh my gosh, Philadelphia just, helped us because we were outside of our comfort zones and he was outside of his comfort zone and I think that he was more open to change because of that. So <clears throat> we were worried about the drive up. The drive up went really, really well. He had no accidents on the way up. We took him all over the city and we just made potty breaks every once in a while and it worked out really well. We had a really great time. We just had two days here. We spent the first day doing all the kid things. We started at the morning going to the children's museum. This is a maze, so we're gonna try to find our way to the middle. Here we go. Oh, well, I found my way. You did it, you made it. We're in the middle. Good job. That was cool. That's cool that they did that. Queens wants the roses pan. Pan the roses. Oh wow, it works. That's so cool. Bring the tea to the table. All right, let's serve the tea. Let's serve the tea. I'm late. I'm late. I'm positively late. Let's serve the tea. Bring the tea out. Oh. All right. Oh, I get some tea. Cool. Alright, let's go get the teapot. There you go. So are you going to pour the tea? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mommy, sit down. Alright, Connor and Mommy are searching for tea. You have to pour the tea, Connor. Can I have some tea? Pour Mommy some tea. Cheers. Oh, thank you. Alright, don't actually put it in your mouth, just pretend. Good job. Mm. Daddy, want some tea? Oh, I love some tea. Oh, don't take from the Mad Hatter. Daddy will get his own. I just thought that was so well put together. It was a bit expensive, but we just thought it would make our little man happy. And we try to balance when we travel doing things for the kids and things for us because we don't want to let us having a two-year-old stop us from enjoying seeing the world, but we also respect the fact that he's a kid and he doesn't understand kind of more boring adult things like history and sightseeing. We went to the zoo right after the Children's Museum because it's like right next to it, it's about a mile away.
you'd go to the Philadelphia Zoo, buy your tickets online because the line for the tickets was really long on the weekends. I guess we didn't pick a good time to travel really because the coronavirus is going around and everyone's freaking out about it, but I've traveled twice in the last two weeks and so building my immune system. Day two. All right, I'm going to get coffee, I'll be back. Connor was getting a little tired and grumpy when we were in some of the historic stuff. We decided to take a break and came down to this awesome donut shop, which happened to be across the street from this adorable park. We do not give our kids sugar hardly ever, but we figured, well, Philly is supposedly known for some of its donut shops. So we came to this one. It was like a vegan donut shop. They were really, really good. And now we're at the park and the sugar is kicking in. We give the kid one donut. Happy donut. Where are we going, Connor? Which one? The one that's not locked. Benjamin Franklin. You can touch this. Ooh, Connor, go touch it. it. Here you go. Does that seem like fun? Here, go back and I'll show you how I use it, okay? How old are you? Are you this many? Two. Are you this many? This many. Okay. Yeah, you can show. I can hold up his hands with all his fingers out spread. That's saying something. <laughs> yeah. Watch. Wow. Okay. Blank piece of paper. You see? That's not regular paper. It's not. It's made out of cloth. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got the same texture as U.S. money. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Is that the way it used to be? Like, made uh -huh. out of? Yeah. Wow. Gosh, yeah. Oh, wow. That is so, oh, cool. We could keep that? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, darn. No. That would have been sweet. <laughs> Sorry. That's good. And then I stopped. I had to take a power nap. Like, literally, had to go close my eyes for 20 minutes. So, the boys went and did something while I was sleeping quietly in the room. So I'm meeting up with them now. Who are those boys? Hi. Hi. Oh, I love you. I just want to encourage anybody who's scared to travel with your kids or scared to get out, just do it because it enriches both of your lives. It brings your relationship closer together. It just, I think it, it makes for a really exciting childhood. And I have been so enjoying traveling with my family and especially my son, just seeing his eyes light up for new places and get excited about things. It's just, that's what life's all about. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Until next time.
Bye.